Hey you guys, what's going on? My name is Klaus and thank you for tuning in, tuning back in to our Let's Play Town Hall 8. And it's gonna be great because there's been some progress on the base and uh, there's a lot of stuff we need to do still. So, last episode, if you saw it, you saw we upgrade, like we started Town Hall 8. It was a fresh Town Hall 8, nothing had been built yet, we had like 400 notifications in our shop. And uh, we got a lot done. So last episode, we upgraded or started the upgrade for the laboratory, the clan castle. What else did we do? We did the uh, dark barracks and the dark spell factory. But before we did all that, we built the new walls, which are all landed over here. We uh, put together the you know the new elixir, gold storage, the new archer tower, and all these new traps. So uh, last episode was really really productive. And since then, a list should pop up over there which uh, are, are the things that I've done off camera. So to refer to my list, just so that you guys don't get lost, I did upgrade these walls. I had several level four walls. I upgraded them to level five, just so that they would all make sense. I uh, started the upgrade on the dark elixir storage, guys, because right now our total maximum capacity is 22,500. And to go into the laboratory and look at the hogs, which is my number one priority for the laboratory, is 30,000 dark elixir. So I can't do that until my dark elixir storage is upgraded, which is why I went ahead and started it early. I also built the new mortar and the new wizard tower because I really needed to get the new buildings put down. That way I can build a new or put together a new base design. I upgraded these a little bit because I had the extra loot and I had the extra time. I started these new buildings, guys. So the dark elixir drill and the hidden Tesla, because like I said, I wanted to build all the new buildings and I have, I've built all the new buildings or at least they are, they're working. It's working. So now today we will be able to focus on uh, one new upgrade, which I'm hoping to be able to upgrade this dark barracks to level two to unlock the hogs in that barrack because trust me doing a hog army for war on one dark barracks is terrible so upgrading that would be really important also getting a research project started i would i would say the barbarians probably because the king's special ability will get an upgrade with it so that would be would be awesome i've got a lot i need a lot of elixir i doubt i'll be able to get it all and i've also got a lot of dark elixir in my treasury so anyway guys i think we need to start out this video with a uh, a bar trade. Let's go find a dead base and uh, and see what we can do to it. And for the record, guys, I am prioritizing elixir because elixir is so darn hard to get when you're spending it on your army. You know what I mean? And uh, a lot of the important buildings, you know, generally the army camps, uh, although they don't get an upgrade, obviously, for Tunnel 8. Uh, you know, the dark barracks, the standard barracks, all the offense buildings take elixir so it's really hard to farm elixir when you're using it so that's why i'm using straight up barch and um actually now that my dark spell factory is uh is done i can start using poison spells which is pretty sweet hey does my dark spell factory get an upgrade does it it does of course it does you gotta be able to use quad quake for the govaho awesome or like govalo that's awesome so i'm gonna definitely upgrade that soon too but uh we are limited by our builders were limited by loot, so let's go find us a dead base, get some loot, and uh, I've got a new base design. We need to put that together. So anyway, enough talk. Let's go find a base. Okay, guys, I just failed an attack. It was bad. Uh, clan castle troops wrecked us in the face, but I forgot that I have an achievement. I got 20 gems. So let's claim that reward now. That's, like I said, 20 gems. We're working toward 2,000 for that fifth builder. And um, I'm going to let this army train up. So give me another few minutes. I apologize. Oh, my gosh. This is so bad. Y'all want to watch this in super fast motion. Times four. Look at this. So look at these clan castle troops just wrecking. Uh, Valkyries and wizards just destroying everything everything I put down. I didn't even notice it till right there. And then the king kills the last Valkyrie. The uh, archers killed the last wizard. And we only got one of the storages. So that was terrible. We only got like 90,000 elixir. And that's probably how much it cost to make the army to begin with. So uh, yeah, let's, <laughs> let's let this army train up and find a better base and do better because that was bad. Hey, okay, so check it out. I just remembered that I need to build this new base. So I've got the picture here. One of my clan mates, shout out to Snow Tiger and Knights of Zion, by the way, for that. But I've got a base I'm going to build. It's similar to the one that I've got on my main account, Klaus, who is in Champion League right now and having a blast. So let's throw down the first few buildings and then I'm going to stop commentating. I'll play the video in fast forward motion for you. So if you want to build this base with me, it'll be kind of like a speed build. You guys can enjoy it. I'll put down some 
pretty sweet music and you can enjoy it. So that's the first building, the Dark Elixir Storage. Now let's get to work. <laughs> Okay, so we're halfway there. I just got all the walls done, all the buildings done. I like to get the full outline of the walls done early. Sorry if it was all over the place, but uh, we're halfway there. So be patient. <laughs> And here it is guys, the full base layouts. You're more than welcome to take a snapshot of this and copy it if you want. Let me know in the comments if you if it works for you. Uh, if you noticed, I had to adjust a little bit. The person who gave this to me has five builder sets and I only have four. So I had two there and I moved one up to here because I didn't, uh, I mean, uh, what, what am I trying to say? The opposite. I had two here and it called for one more and I didn't have it. So I just took one from over here and moved it up here. That's what happened. So anyway, that is a whole base design. I copied it piece by piece, tile by tile. You're welcome to do that as well. I always assume, and it's probably not true, but I always assume that there's like some super important reason why everything is where it is. So I always copy the bases I'm given piece by piece and then I adjust them as I go if I need to. So anyway, that is the base design. Like I said, snapshot of that if you need it. And now we saved we're gonna make that active and then boom there we go that is our base and um how long did that take me i have no idea i've got oh i've got two minutes before my bar charm is ready so uh that's awesome let's wait a second let's try to find a better base to hit and then uh we'll probably have to call this a day because it's already been a pretty long recording so i'll be back with you guys in a second bro okay wow uh that's a lot of loot guys that is a lot of loot and uh, yeah, we're gonna attack this base. I, I don't care. I don't care what it takes. So let's drop our king down here. Let's put down some archers and some, that was barbarians. Let's put down some archers now too. And um, I'm going to point, or I'm gonna heal those and I'm gonna heal those. Drop my, or pop my king special ability, put down some more archers. Let's go buddies. Yeah, 
Let's do this. I didn't uh, lure for the clan castle. That's what got me in trouble last time. But the good thing is this is a dead base. There's no traps. So that helps a lot. So let's keep going. Let's get in this base. Let's take all this loot. Beautiful loot, guys. Really is beautiful. Um, and then what? What else needs to be done here? Um, should we... Yeah, we're going to need to heal. Oh, nope. The uh, wizard tower went down quick. So that's awesome. Uh, King is in now into the core. That's good stuff. Now, let's see. Do we need this final heal spell? We probably do. There's a couple of mortars killing us in the core. So, um... Yeah, let's pop the uh, let's drop the heal spell there. So what that's gonna do, hopefully, is that's gonna keep everything alive in the core that the mortars are targeting. That way, we can allow everything to just kill everything in the in the outside after everything is down in the core. Um, if that even made sense, I have no clue. But if we can take down this mortar over here, it would be great. Come on, yes, okay. And then um, the heal spell wore off super quick. I'm so used to max heal spells that uh, that was kind of disappointing. But anyway, so the king is down. We got some archers kind of doing work over here, and another freaking mortar. Gosh, those things are powerful. Ugh. Okay, well, we're not going to be able to grab all the gold, but we are going to get a decent amount of it at least. Um, they're not one-shotting the archers, so that's good. So all the archers are dead except for that group, and now there's one that got shot down, and man, 305,000 elixir. That's what I'm talking about. So I would love to find another another one of those, 10 or 12 more of those within the next hour or so. Uh, but that means I have to boost. So anyway, that is what I'm going to be doing for the next few raids, guys. I'm looking forward to being able to get both of my Dark Elixir, uh, Dark Elixir Barracks upgraded. And um, all the way up to max. I think that's kind of important as a Tunnel 8 to have max Dark Elixir Barracks or Dark Barracks for the sake of war. So um, I guess for now, I've got one builder and I've got a 2,000 gold archer tower i think that's going to take 30 minutes to upgrade so here's what we're going to do we are going to max out or at least uh spend all of our gold on these walls because honestly i mean if you look at this base there is a blatant weak side and that is this side so we need to get these walls upgraded so let's move this guy out because he's way too he's too much and that's 2.7 million so let's do uh let's pull out this guy and see how much this is 1.65 million so almost we almost got it 1.35 oh come on get this out of here all right there we go 1.125 million gold on walls we're gonna go to level six that means they're gonna be pink ew and three to one bam oh baby that's still better than yellow right so anyway that is all of our gold um i'm gonna keep the rest of it and i'm gonna start that archer tower and uh the future of the the um the base. Okay, so the future of the base. First of all, let me start this elixir or archer tower. Boom. Okay, so we got 30 minutes before that's done. Is I'm gonna start working on the newer defenses. So this archer tower is new. The um, where's that? The uh, I thought I did something else. Well, the other storages. Yeah, I mean these are storages too. I'm gonna start upgrading them too. I mean they're like a few hours at a time. No big deal. We'll get those maxed. It's gonna be good. Also, we're gonna work on the walls. We gotta get the defenses done. We gotta get the offense buildings done. We gotta get the resource buildings done. We got a lot to do. But the best thing is now we have a base put in. Now we do need a war base. Here's the other issue: is that I I don't have a town hall eight war base. So I'm gonna have to find that. I'll be sure and show you guys the one I'm using in the in a near video probably the next video it's gonna be good guys but for now that's all i have time for so uh yeah leave a like if you like this town hall 8 series and subscribe if you haven't joined the class family and i'll see you guys again next episode